right, here we are at 1124 Southeast 117th Avenue. You're on 117th Avenue is a connector street to Southeast Stark, between Southeast Stark and Southeast Division Street, which is down that way. So it gets a little bit of traffic, double yellow line. The house here is stucco. It has uh, architectural comp roof on it. It has vinyl windows. It does not have a garage. That's my daughter's car. So we're going to kind of walk through this house a little bit, kind of get a feel for the layout. Covered little porch. It has tile and little planter boxes. Newer door. It has pergo floor. Window at the front of the house, window on the side of the house, zonal heating there, little wall cadet heaters. It has um, it has a fireplace and a little coat closet there by the front door where I just came in. So just a main room here. It's the living room. Coming over here through an archway. This is a very similar layout to my husband's little house that he had 25 years ago. So this is a little tiny dining nook with a window that is on the, the driveway side and the back door with a glass door in it. Small little kitchen with newer cabinetry, tile backsplash, tile counters. Looks like it is a vinyl tile floor. Little range tucked in there. Look, it's got a stainless steel fridge. And the listing says... It says freestanding refrigerator and freestanding range are included. Mm hmm. That's not bad. Um, anyway, not a lot of room. It's got a built in microwave. Cabinets. Just okay. Oops. Oops. Am I still recording here? I'm not sure if I'm still recording. Not sure what happened. Let's stop it. Okay, I guess we're still recording. Touched the screen and something did something funky. So what the listing agent said last night is the odd thing about this house, or one of the odd things, is that the washer and dryer hookup are right here on the outside of the house. So just as you come, as I back up here, there's the door and the Wash and dryer hookups come out from where the kitchen sink were. Well, the kitchen sink is on, this, on the inside wall. So those come out from the wall. There's the plug-in. That looks kind of funky. Um, it's a large covered porch area with a little shed in the back. The driveway pad comes out to the backyard. There's the car again. So it's got a long concrete driveway pad, small backyard, relatively private. You can see the neighbor's house to the north, and there's a fence to the side. There's a door over here, but I'm guessing it just goes to the side yard. Look, and then it goes to the side yard. That's kind of crazy. And then the side of the house over here, and a big tall house next to it to the south. That's interesting. All right, let's go back. This is, this is kind of unusual. So I'm going to be doubtful that that was ever installed with permits. So I should run the check on portlandmaps.com real quick. I'm going to do that later. Let's go check out the bedrooms quickly. The floors look pretty nice. It has kind of a brocade. It's not popcorn ceiling. A little funky. This is the hallway, such as it were. It's very dark because the paneling is dark and there doesn't appear to be, there is no light in the hallway. Let's see. This is the bathroom. So it has, looks like it has, it's actually vinyl floor. That looks like tile. Pedestal sink. Tile, backsplash. So it's just your basic little bathroom, not a ton of storage other than what's above the 
the toilet because the pedestal sink, you don't have a cabinet. All right, let's see what we have. We have two bedrooms here. This looks like it's going to be the bigger of the two. So you have laminate floors again. You have a cadet space heater that is interestingly popped out from the wall. Wall? I don't know if the, sh the wall is full width. That's kind of odd as well. Um, so this is the bigger bedroom, and this is at the front of the house. So you've got the street noise potentially coming into this room. The closet, oh, that's interesting as well. So when we're in the living room looking at the little louvered door that was right by the front door, that's the coat closet, is effectively um, open into this first bedroom as well. So it's kind of, and then that is pretty much the closet. It has an angle in it. So your coat closet on the other side is also your bedroom closet on this side. And that angle, there's an angled portion of the closet. That's where the hallway was. Some interesting angles. And then this is the back bedroom, which is considerably smaller. It's got laminate floor as well. It's got some paneling. This one has baseboard heater still installed in it. The depth of the exterior wall is pretty decent here. I had sold a listing down, or I had a buyer who bought a house down in Southeast, down off the 39th and Hawthorne area that the whole exterior wall was probably about three inches thick, so it wasn't even built with two by four studs. Um, but this one, looking at this exterior wall too, looks to be probably adequate. All right, that's pretty much the house. I gotta get my daughter's car back to her. It's a close up of the fireplace. And again, that's the coat closet from the living room that extends into the closet in that first bigger front bedroom. So pretty much that's the hallway to the bedrooms. That's the wall dividing the kitchen from the living room, the dining room space. The refrigerator is right there as you come into the dining space. The stove next to the refrigerator, the sink against an interior wall. The window there that would be above where the washer and dryer are, and then the rear exterior door. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye.